Beverly Hills Cop 4 is finally out on Netflix, more than 30 years after the previous installment within Eddie Murphy's franchise. I'm not gonna do nothing, I just wanna hear the man speak! That delivered the question, what took its production so long, as the sequel's first plans were announced all the way back in the mid-90s. But just two years ago, the same questions were raised when another insanely well-received franchise finally got its sequel, and eventually grossed one and a half billion dollars. So, let me explain the parallels, and why this isn't necessarily just a coincidence. During the promotion of Born on the 4th of July in 1990, Tom Cruise got his first questions about a potential Top Gun 2, to which he instantly replied that it would be irresponsible to do so. And after that, it kinda became like a wave on the shore, where every shore is some sort of speculation, but never really made an impact. Whilst for Beverly Hills Cop 4, it was quickly announced that a fourth film will be in the making, thanks to Eddie Murphy's company, Eddie Murphy Productions. But that died out soon. According to Eddie himself, it's because of his dissatisfaction with the script. Staying with Beverly Hills 4, in 2006, the film was re-announced when producer Jerry Bruckheimer, remember the name, announced his intentions to produce the film. As in September that same year, Eddie was presented a script made up of earlier drafts, which he liked, and two years later, the man who directed Rush Hour, Brad Ratner was announced as the director, whilst Michael Brandt and Derek Haas were hired to refine the final script details, as Beverly Hills Cop 4 was finally ready to shoot- Oh, the script was rejected. So it's the 2010s, and honestly, you can basically sum it up like this. Good morning, Mr. Murphy. I've got a new script for you. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda like it. Are we through? No. Send me another draft when you're ready. Is Beverly Hills Cup 4 coming soon? They haven't developed it yet, so I'm sure it's not. Hey, Eddie? We've just changed the schedule, and after 800 ways that we could represent Axel Foley, I've got a new script for you. And repeat. Until October 1st, 2019, as it was Murphy himself who finally announced that principal photography will start after he finishes filming Coming to America 2. Yet shooting didn't happen until August 2022, because of the Covid pandemic. And the fact that the cast of directors, Adil El Avi and Bill Al Fala, left the project to direct Bad Girl. <laughs> now getting back to Top Gun Maverick, there just wasn't really anyone who wanted to pick up the sequel until Paramount Pictures came around the corner and offered Jerry Bruckheimer and Top Gun director Tony Scott a lucrative offer to make another one. Tragically, Tony Scott committed suicide in 2012. However, when Tom Cruise and even Val Kilmer finally became interested in participating, production developments soon followed one another. Really enjoyed that map, thanks a lot. When most of the casting was done in 2018, little by little, the film was going to be finished by mid-2019 and released in July 2019. Oh, never mind. Additional shooting days were necessary, and just like Beverly Hills, the COVID pandemic delayed Top Gun Maverick all the way until May 27, 2022. Now, if you put the main stars, Tom Cruise and Eddie Murphy, side by side, Tom didn't want to make another one because he didn't feel ready and was looking for something that just leveled up the sequel whilst Eddie constantly searched for just the right script that actually evolved his character. 36 years of patience left Top Gun Maverick with an insanely loved $1.5 billion grossing sequel. And whilst I'm writing this, 4th of July 2024, Beverly Hills Cup 4 is already ranked well above the last two Beverly Hills films. Both with the same producer, both on Netflix, and both even have the same composer, Harold Faltermeyer. Now because a sequel takes so long, does that guarantee or simply improve its chances of bigger hits? Well, not necessarily. A film like Easy Rider took 43 years to get a follow-up, and horrendously failed. One of the most iconic films from the 1950s, Lady and the Tramp, took 46 years to get a sequel, and absolutely tanked. That can prove that it's not about waiting decades just to find one cool idea, think you are a genius, and make another film about it but rather by finding just the right elements that make a sequel reasonable and follow the things that made the first installment so special. 